2001. I was at a crossroads in my life. I wasn't getting any jobs on television, and I wasn't getting any football coaching jobs either. Getting food on my table was tough. I was a rut. So to cheer myself up, I decided to head off to Erotica, a sex convention where all the top celebrities hang out, and attempt to network with some of them in hopes of finding a gig. There were hundreds of celebrities in the building. And they were all very, very shit. But a desperate man will go to desperate measures to survive, so I saw Lee Ryan from Blue trying to chat up a big busty glamour model by the dildo stand. I thought maybe I could go and negotiate my way to getting in their new video practicing the martial arts whilst they are singing one of their shit songs. I made my way and gave him my pitch. Haley, it's me Fash. How's it going mate? I asked. The busty glamour model left us to it, which made Lee furious as he was trying to get in her knickers. Fuck's sake, I can't believe you'd do that. You caught blocked me. That's bang out of order. He yelled as I stood there, letting it sink in that I was getting mugged off by a man who just a couple months earlier, pissed off the country by saying he doesn't give a fuck about 9-11. I was at the lowest of the low. I was feeling hopeless. I walked around looking all glum like I was walking the streets of Bristol. But then just when I was ready to fuck off out of this room of sordidness, I get a tap on my shoulder. I turn around to see this hulking scouser of a man with his arms wide open like he was Jesus Christ, but with a short haircut and nice tan. It was Craig Phillips, the winner of the previous year's Big Brother, when it was a watchable show and not filled with the usual fame hungry fuck knuckles you see on contemporary series of the show. Bash mate, how are ya? Pleased to see ya again he said. I actually didn't remember ever meeting him, but I was down in the dumps, so I just ran with it. We went to the bar. He had several pints, I had several orange juices because I don't drink that tail shit. We were having fun, and for the first time in months, I was laughing. It was like the lovable DIY man from Liverpool was a gift sent from God. A beautiful curvy woman joined us, and asked if she could join us. We said sure, and got to chatting with her. She was asking to see our muscles like she was a female purple hockey and we complied. She was getting more and more turned on as we were posing like we were in a Mr. Olympia competition. But we weren't competing. We actually supported each other through it all. After an hour of drinking and laughing, the woman cut to the chase. She wanted us to double plug her holes. I invited them both to come back to Fash HQ. We got there, and she was all over myself and Craig. Craig gave me a thumbs up like he was proud of me. I had the minch, and Craig had the mouth as we pumped with our big bulging purple bells, high-fiving each other like I had just scored a 30-yard screamer at Old Trafford. As we were about to spaff onto big jugs, Craig started singing It's Only a Game Show It's Only a Game Show. And I joined in. The woman joined in. It was a magical experience, as a jet of white liquid spurted out of both our penis holes onto her chest. Craig and I looked at each other smiling as we bro shaped like we were Goose and Maverick. I felt a new bro mess was brewing, and for the first time in months, I felt happy. We all went to sleep in my massive king-sized water bed, and I slept like a baby. When I woke up, Craig and the woman were nowhere to be seen. I got up, and looked for Craig everywhere. I see a note on the fridge which said my work here is done, gosh mate. Now the rest is up to you. Awooka. I was baffled. Was he sent to give me a confidence boost? Either way, I never saw him or the woman again. But for every time I feel things are going wrong, I know that Craig Phillips is watching over me. Yes. I'm